Praise God. God is so good. I mean, how, how much better can it get than to see two brothers that love each other and one to be together through all this? Thank you, and I know Jesus. your families is the same way. You, you know, I, I love it now that, that sometimes it's hard to do, but you're in the same house together with you your wife and your husband and all your kids and, and God's blessing that right now. I, I just hear so much good things about uh, how, how kids, you know, I, I want to say this. The other day I rode around town. I said this one time I preached. I used to go around. I didn't see no kids playing at all. And the other day I went and I seen a whole family out throwing baseball. The whole mom and dad and all the kids. I said, God, thank you for that. Thank you that they're they're working together and doing things together and having an enjoyable time together. But we come seriously right now at this time. God laid it on my heart, and I, and I preached this Wednesday night, that we need to do communion. So I asked Pastor, and Pastor said, sure, uh, it, it's something we need to do. And I'm asking you right now, I want you to go to your cabinet, if you already don't have it, get you either a cracker or a piece of bread and, and uh, a little juice or even water and bless it. And God, and the purpose of all this is to honor Jesus. Amen. That's all it's about is to honor honor Jesus. And I thank God that we can take this time through all this stuff that's going on. What better time to do this than when, with the world in the way it is, is to take time to do communion, to, to honor Jesus, to honor his body and his blood that was shed for us and broken for us because he loved us that much. Let me say this before we, before we do our communion. God is in control. Yes. He is in control Hallelujah. of this whole thing. And listen, put put that disease behind you. Yes, Look amen. forward. You know, we, we do have to have wisdom and knowledge, and, and God gave it to us. But we got to rebuke that stuff. Like yes. I said, Wednesday, I know pastor's been pre preaching the same thing. we got to rebuke all this that's Hallelujah. going around. Jesus, Jesus. is in control. Thank you. And he is going to take over. And he is, he's already took over. Thank but you, us as Christians sometimes gets ahead of him. Well, now we got to stop, sit back, and let God be God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise amen. the Lord. Pastor, as we come uh, honoring Jesus' body, uh, you know, he, he died for each and every one of us, and he went through a whole lot. But that, that day that he sat with the disciples, and, and he looked around, he knew one was going to betray him even before he'd done this. He knew one was going to betray him. But he took a sacrifice for each and every one of us. And he said he, that all you've got to do is just follow me. All you've got to do is just be obedient to do what I'm asking you to do. And so we take this communion today in the honor of, of, our, of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And he said he took the bread. And Pastor, I'm going to ask you to break that in just a minute. But he took that bread. And, and, and go ahead. He broke it for us. And then he said that he blessed it. Pastor, would you do honor to bless the Heavenly Father, we thank you for your perfect sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you yes. that your body was broken so that we may be whole in you. Yes. And Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you right now for your word says, do this in remembrance of you. Yes. And as pastor said, Father, we glorify you and the only way we know how is to worship you, Lord Jesus Christ, yes. and to bless your Holy Spirit. Yes. In your holy and precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Then the Bible said that he took a cup. And he wanted you to realize that every drop of blood that was shed from Jesus. You know, I, I love that, that picture that Pastor puts up of Jesus. It's something that's hard to look at. And I know all of you in our church knows what I'm talking about. It's so hard to look at that picture. But yet when I look at that picture, I knew that every stripe, yes. every, every drop of blood, every stripe that was put up on him, he'd done it just for me. He'd done it just for you. He'd done it just for pastor. And that's how much he loved us. And it, it was our sins that he had to do that for y'all. It's our sins. So this blood, I want you to really, really think about what you're doing when you take, take this. Before we take this, I want you to examine yourself. Thank you, Father. I want you to examine yourself. And, and if there's something that's not right, if you don't have the faith that you think you need to have, ask God to help you to have that faith. Yes. If, you're, if you've got fear upon you, ask God to take that fear away from you. If, you, if you're living in sin, ask God to take that sin away from you. Don't take this communion Thank you, and living in sin. Amen. 
Please don't do that. Repent right now. You can do it right this minute right now. before we take communion. Glory to you, Father. Well, Jesus also said, take this cup and bless it to the nurse of my body. Pastor. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your blood, Father God, that was spilled on Calvary's cross in agape, wrapped in the skin of the perfect man, your perfect sacrifice, our Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you for every drop. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for you said in your word, this is the blood of the new covenant. Yes. And Father, thank you for the new covenant that we are your children, your beloved children, that you reside in us for all of eternity, that you're no longer behind the veil. You are within every one of your beloved children, Father. Yes. And right now, Father God, as Pastor said, as we examine ourselves, Forgive us, Father. Yes. Forgive us of every yes. thought, of every idle word. Yes, forgive us of unforgiveness, Father. Yes, Father, forgive us. Yes, and Father God, we take this in fear of only you, Lord yes, Jesus Lord. Christ. So, Father God, we thank you. We do this in remembrance of you, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, bless us with this fresh anointing from heaven. In Jesus Christ's holy name we pray. And God's beloved said, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor, this is Jesus' body that was broken for you. Hallelujah. Amen. This is his blood that Thank was shed for you. Thank you, Father. Pastor, the body of Christ that was broken for you. Thank you, Jesus. And Pastor, the blood of Christ that was shed for you. I pray that everybody felt the, the spirit that we felt Hallelujah. right now together. It was awesome. God is so good. I just want to thank you, and I want to have a closing prayer. Thank you, Father. And keep your eyes on Jesus. Hallelujah. All through this time. We'll be back soon together. Just yes. like to see. God's got this. Thank Let you, us Father. pray. Thank you, Father. Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you for allowing me and Pastor to come together here, Lord to worship you in, in, in communion, in your body, in your blood that was shed for us. And God, what an awesome time it is to come yes, and Lord. worship you through all this crisis that's going out. Lord, I rebuke that again Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus because every time I hear the word coronavirus, I say Jesus' blood because he's, he's got this. Thank you, Lord. And God, I thank you. Touch people's hearts right now, Lord. And I can't wait to get together again in fellowship yes. and love one another in Lord. Jesus' name. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is good. All the time. <laughs>